So, hey guys, Charles here. So yeah, I'm compiling a video here showcasing 6 plus V2 Sorrow. And yeah, going to be one width for uh, Whitebeard, one width for Enel, and one width for Navy. And yeah, this first team is going to be the least impressive. This is literally the first team I made and tried. And it worked, so I was like, yeah, let's go for it then. Uh, so yeah, the idea with this team is to... Uh, we have Strawberry to deal with the attack down and the chain locks. We just need something to deal with uh, the paralysis then. And I legit forgot about Oro Jackson. So my plan was to use Barter support on Robin and Crocodile. And then use their special to stall one turn. But yeah, obviously I could have used some other unit than Robin and Crocodile, but... Yeah, they do have a nice swap to increase the chance of matching orbs. And we're already relying on RNG for matching orbs, so high chance is nice in here. Yeah, we also use the new East Blue Brook. Just for some extra orb damage. There's actually not a lot of slasher orb boosters for int. Like, obviously V for Law is the best one. But I really try to not use V for Law unless I absolutely had to. I just don't like using subs that will have been better than the captain. And obviously Reefer Law is just a better captain option than Zoro for a team like this. Like if we didn't do GC and it more mixed, then obviously Zoro is better since he's a slasher captain. So he doesn't have to be on a mono in team. It's just for GC that it's mono in. But yeah, we're actually going to do pretty good damage here. Uh, sadly with this team we have to rely on a bit on RNG But yeah we got the 4 turn timer so no problems here And yeah, as you see we get a lot of matching orbs like At first I thought it was the combination of the swap and the Zoro captain ability but Yeah even when I, we're not using Robin Crocodile uh, the matching orb rate is very high, I must say, so it's not so high that you can rely on it. But like for stuff like GC, when you can retry if you get bad luck, then yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just stall one extra turn, why not? Make sure we get as many matching orbs as possible. And yeah, we're going to use Sora Special now. As well as Iron, of course, get rid of the defensive effects. Yeah, having Crocodile here as a dex obviously it's nice for extra damage, but if I remember right, we still get an easy kill. We'll see if I remember right. Yeah, we don't even hit with Crocodiles, yeah. And yeah, so for this stage, the plan is to use Strawberry. Then we stall a turn with Robin Crocodile special. And then we can burst next turn. And yeah, the fun thing, or it's not that fun, it's pretty dumb actually, is that when you use Robin Crocodile Special, they change classes to Striker instead of Slasher. So now they aren't boosted by Sora anymore, it's just... Yeah, they did that a lot with older units, like a lot of weird class changes and such. But yeah, we can burst now. We also prepare for final stage. By preparing the attack boost, and Cro uh, Brook is also ready. And yeah, I must admit now that when I went to final stage here, I had totally forgot that we 2 Sword does not have slot bind reduction. I just assumed he does, since most new legend has it. See, I realize now that uh, will this even work? But yeah, I decided to give it a go anyway. See, so yeah, I just decided I'll burst here. I'll target down Ace. And yeah, I'll make sure to get a good hit on the White Beard with the Crocodile. See, so yeah, I manually swapped here and almost a kill. 
But yeah, then I remember that I do have a lot of HP, so as long as I take out the white beard, I should be good. So I decided to just, yeah, let's focus on white beard. Let's see if we can take him out. And yeah, we did. Now I want to say that if this was a legit weird, where I want to make as good teams as possible, I would not accept this, but since this was mostly a showcase, I was like, whatever. Let's move on to NL. So yeah, uh, NL was probably the hardest one, since yeah, I couldn't go full slasher here due to the last stage. There was just no good way to get rid of the uh, stun. So yeah, we set I settled for Varko Sal, which is held for in other ways too, like extra healing throughout the run, also an HP cut when we want one. Uh, but yeah, uh, the core of this team is the captains, it's Ayn and Pedro, like Ayn and Pedro will only be used for final stage when we burst. And actually like Sora specials alone deal with all the other stages, where just two stages where I felt like I'd like some more damage, I'd like some extra orb control, and like Viola does that. Like, she doesn't boost Sora or anything, but she boosts herself and Pedro. So I was like, yeah, let's go with Viola. But yeah, we'll have to stall a little bit here since we're using or Jackson, so trying to deal with Great Barry is just annoying. But yeah, stalling isn't really a problem when you have Marco Sub, and yeah, we have a ton of HP thanks to Sora's cap and the ship as well. Yeah, we get para now. Sadly, the ship isn't ready. And uh, we need to stall one more turn to get rid of the paralysis. But yeah, we use Viola now. That will give us the damage we need to guarantee the kill this turn. I must say, though, that I really love everything about Soro's aesthetics. He's definitely the best looking Soro unit, in my opinion. Like in terms of art and sprite and movement and yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, in terms of a 6 plus, it's like one of the worst buffs we've had for one, I'd say. Yeah, I just get both of these pretty low. And prepare for the burst. So yeah, we use Sora special now. Make sure we carry over an attack buff to next stage. Uh, the best part of Sora 6 Plus is that you only need to hit 3 perfects now. Makes him a lot more viable to use. Like in this case it doesn't really matter, but in a lot of cases... Like he does so much damage with this special too, so you often kill the unit before you hit the 4 perfects. And yeah, this stage felt very good with Sora thanks to the... Carrying over this attack buff, we do a ton of damage to the ball guy here. Sadly we missed the kill here, but yeah, we just need to spend one more turn, it's fine. So yeah, just get some extra healing and we move on. And yeah, I'm play going to play this stage a bit weird. It's probably not optimal, but yeah. I end up taking this strat. First I'm going to take out the quick guy next turn, so I'll get some ship on him already. So yeah, I'm going to use Viper now, just for an HP cut. Then I'll use Viola to get some extra matching slots. Sadly, bad RNG, so Captain Sora got a Psy Warp. But yeah, it's fine. We take out the Quick Guy now. Get some minor ship on the next one. And yeah, we can easily take him out next turn. So yeah, we're ready.
And they have not used this strat a lot, but this is a viable strat you can use with almost any team. Basically you bring Varko, or a unit like them that has a swap that removes special bind, like uh, Kizuna, Akainu and Kizaru is similar, so you just swap one turn. And then when you swap the next turn, the special bind is gone, you can use specials. Then you can use a special like Pedro's that removes stun. And yeah, you can burst that way. You just need a unit like Iron here that removes the defensive effects. Now we can use Captain Sora as well. Uh, Perona support, the event one was very nice for this stage since you have a guaranteed full board of matching orbs as well. So yeah, not an easy kill, but still, yeah, it's not too close. So moving on to Navy. Uh, sadly, I ended up going with uh, We for Law. Not happy about that, but yeah, there's, there was just a lot to deal with. And yeah, it just ended up like that. Like, I had a core I was happy with. And like, the only way I could get the core to work was to have We for Law. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, this team actually uses a lot of support rare recruits. Zoro has Koshiro, probably not needed, they just did it for some extra damage. Uh, Doffy has the Caesar support, which is very important. And then we have Smoothy, who has the Daifuku support, which is also very important. So yeah, it's a bit of a showcase of some good support too. But yeah, this movie having Daifuku is a game changer actually. She had little reason to be used before this. Or not little, but often there were better options. But with Daifuku she does a lot. Uh, we have Brand New 2. I don't really use him, but he's actually super good for this. Since he both helps this stage with removing damage threshold. And then next turn he can block the negative orb debuff, so that's cool. Uh, but since Smoothie also does orb buffs for a few turns, I could have used some other damage threshold remover actually. But yeah, it's not like uh, Int has a lot of options. Int Slasher, to be more precise. But yeah, we really need to kill this turn. Because otherwise Tandem will become not matching, and that's not optimal. And yet to deal with the Bind and the Spear, we are going to use Corazon support on Law. And then there's just one turn of Bind left, and that will Duffy deal with, with uh, Caesar support. And yeah, there's no Poison but, uh, uh, immunity here, so we also get the Poison conditional. And the ore boost and the attack boost, so as you can imagine, killing this turn will be very easy. Even if it's important to remember that Doffy's buff is only for Driven, so it's just for him and the Soros. But yeah, very easy. And yeah, we're using Law now, get some extra damage this stage and the next one. And yeah, I've come to learn that hitting perfects this stage is easy as long as you have anything that makes perfects a little bit easier. And yeah, we're getting low ore boost here. We'll also use the Sora special, get the attack boost. We also have Kosher, so we get an ore boost as well. Or a shame boost. So we do a little bit extra damage, but when I looked at the damage, it didn't feel like it was necessary really. But yeah, we easily take out Fuji and one of the mobs. Now we can just take out another mob and then we can just stall a little, little bit. Didn't need to stall too much really since, yeah, if you look at the CDs, Sora is getting ready soon, Duffy is getting ready soon, Smoothy too. So yeah, with those, four, those three and brand new, you cover everything. So yeah, just need to do a bit of minor stalling here. I'm going to burst once Doffy is at 3, so yeah, just one more turn of stall. And yeah, we move on to final stage.
Yeah, got a bit unlucky with orbs, but yeah, it didn't matter, we do enough damage. And yeah, the plan here is to use Sora Special, this gives us an attack boost this turn and after the revive. We also use Smoothie Special, so we get the color affinity for this turn. And those two together will be enough, since we're hitting against color affinity. Yeah, it's not too close even with just three matching orbs. Obviously having such high HP helps, so you can hit more perfects. And yeah, now we use Toffee, brand new, and yeah, this will be a very easy kill. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this Wii 2 6 Plus Sword Showcase. I don't know how much I'll use him, but yeah, now I've used him a bit at least. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Let's move.